So today, guys, I have a classico to show you. It is on sector D, and it is laid mainly to shale and has some stepping stones and pots in the front garden. To the conservatory, you have a fly screen which opens outwards. It's about two, three steps up to the conservatory. <coughs> And the glass in here is slightly tinted. So I'll just give you a quick look around. You have those lovely Spanish tiles surrounding the door and the window with the records, which are very decorative. You have a new front door. It's not the normal door for a classical. And shut that inside the property you have got aircon here in the living room and you have got a ceiling light and fan it's quite a spacious living room i'm going to pan around just to give you a feel of the room here and you have blackout blinds on the windows as well as wreckers so good sized living space so I'm going to take you through this archway now and we're going to have a look in the main bedroom first. So as I walk into the main bedroom, it has ceiling light and fan. You've also got aircon in here and they have double glazed windows in the bedroom here. You've also got um, overhead storage and a double wardrobe. Just gonna move around the bed just to give you a good size of the room in here. So it's got an extra double wardrobe in here and you've still got plenty of room at the end of the bed to walk freely. So so inside here is the shower room. It has a full glass Shower screen, clear one, right. Then this is a good size shower. It's like a double shower, really. You've got your rain head shower there, an attachment. You've also got a nice little vanity unit there. Your WC and a B-Day. And you've got plenty of storage and a towel rack there as well. So in here is the second bedroom and it has a double glazed windows as well. They've also got aircon in here and ceiling light and fan. This room will take a double bed. And just there you also got your overhead storage and your double wardrobe. I've also put a shelf over the door for extra storage. So I'm just going to bring you into the kitchen, give you a quick glimpse of the room as we go by. So in here you have your top and your base units and drawers, integrated oven and hob and your sink and drainer. On the other side of the kitchen, you have your fridge freezer, more top and base units and your washing machine. So I'm going to take you outside now and we'll have a look around outside. So you have a courtyard out the back here. Plenty seating area and room for a shed. I'm just going to take you upstairs now to the rooftop solarium. I want to show you there you have got a gas boiler fitted to this property as well. 
So just up here on the rooftop solarium, they have retiled the roof. It's nice decorative tile. You can put um, that false grass up here in your lounges and it will also take the weight of a hot tub up here as well. You have one lot of storage up here. And I just want to show you down at the end of the road there, there are some beautiful views. And we're not very far from the beaches here in Matheron, about 20 minutes. You've also got your pergola up there. Needs a bit of TLC. Just need a new cover on that. But this is a lovely, peaceful and nice, quiet residential street that this property is on. So let me take you back downstairs now. Now that I'm back downstairs in the courtyard, there is a water point there and there also is a night light there as well. So if you're interested in this property, do contact Dawn at to let to sell to buy dot com. Email her info at to let to sell to buy dot com. And um, don't forget to put the reference number of the property in the email along with your details. Thank you for watching.